In a world where two siblings create epic productions of monumental proportions. Wait, what is this, Hollywood? No, this is Hillywood. Oh, sorry. Please welcome the creators of The Hillywood Show and your hosts, Hilly and Hannah Hindi, as they discuss Hillywood and beyond. This is Beyond Hillywood. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Beyond Hillywood. Today in studio we have a very special guest, but before we announce our special guest, uh, we would like to have a shout out again to Roy Arce for the amazing intro that you just heard. So, Hannah, will you do us the honors of introducing our very, very, very special guest? Well, today we have a very special guest. Uh, we, years ago, Thank have <laughs> we created many, many Twilight parodies. Uh-huh. And today, Drew Lorenz, who played Jasper in all of the Twilight parodies and has been there for every single one, is our special guest today, and we are going to be talking about some fun memories that we all have. Clap for Drew! Woo! Yay. Yay, me! Thank you for having me. <laughs> I this know. is uh, amazing because we did these so long ago. <laughs> I'm trying to remember I to- I texted- all of the things that you want me to remember for this. I texted Hannah and Drew last night, and I said, hey, we are going to be talking all about the Twilight parodies Tomorrow, watch rewatch them all. So all three of us separately were watching these parodies last night. This is the way back machine. Twelve years ago? No. No. Two thousand eight was Nine. Twilight. Yes, two thousand nine. No. Well, two thousand eight we the actually movie came shot out it. In two thousand eight. We shot it. I don't like know November. if everybody knows. Big fan, that we, we got we a were, big fan here. We big were fan. Huge, <laughs> we were huge fans. We were at the midnight premiere. Did we go to the midnight premiere? I don't remember going to the midnight we premiere. Did. We did. Did we? Yeah. I don't, I don't remember. I thought I friends were saying to go see it, and then we went and watched it. Okay, a little backstory on why we chose Twilight. Um, this was just coming off of the Hillywood episodes that we discussed earlier in, <laughs> in Beyond Hillywood. And we could no longer do the episodes because the DeLorean that we used, the owner, was deployed um, for, where was he, he deployed? I think he went to Iraq. To that's what we believe. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I said we can't continue the episodes. Well, this Twilight phenomenon was happening. And we said, hey, maybe there's an idea there. It seems real popular. So I guess we did. We went to go see the movie. And then I had an idea, but it wasn't a sketch. It had nothing to do with Jack Sparrow and all that fun, weird stuff that we <laughs> we did. It was purely based on Twilight. And it was a music video set to Katy Perry's Hot and Cold. I told Hannah the concept. I go, I don't know if this will fly. I don't know if this will work, but I think it could be fun. But that was the last hurrah. That was the la- that was going to be the last parody from the mm-hmm. Hollywood show um, because we weren't gaining in subscribers or viewers. And Twilight parody gained 100,000 views overnight. Mm-hmm. And I think that was God's little poke on my shoulder to go, hey, this is your formula and this is the Hollywood show. <laughs> All that other stuff was fun. But this is where <laughs> your brand will be born. So we're not starting off with Sweeney Todd. We already did me. that. I know, but I wasn't here for that. No, you weren't. So but he was I wasn't an sure extra. we wanted to circle back for that real quick. <laughs> Just touch on the Sweeney <laughs> no, Todd. There's no time. There's no time. We, no time. we got to get through the, the Twilight. Twilight stuff is too much, too far in between. Okay, so I, I have on my phone a little book of memories oh, that Lord. I remember, and okay. you guys can touch on it. Do you want to start with my lady's white jacket? You can start with that. Did we buy that together at Savers? No, I think I bought it for you. I had to undo all the stitches, though, because it wasn't long enough, because it was like a lady's, like, high-waisted jacket. Like, it didn't go all the way down, so I had to undo the stitches and roll it out. First of all, it was bought at Savers. Yes. Because that was, was our a, budget back like then. It was $4 or whatever, and just had to pop the collar up. <laughs> I don't know why we did that. I don't think he I don't had think- any... I think he had a hood... On his jacket. The funny thing about Twilight parody is nothing is screen accurate. No. Like, nothing is screen no, accurate. Like, we oh, had, they wore a baseball hat. This so was we be, wore a baseball this hat. Was that was before about as close we, as we Yeah, got. before we met John Henson. So yeah. nothing was screen accurate. It was Which, all. This jacket was given Aww. 
to me by John. He's wearing a Miss Jasper John jacket, so everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If I you're came not, prepared. If you're not watching this on YouTube, <laughs> go run to YouTube right now because he's wearing a Jasper jacket. Yes. And this one's pretty accurate. John no, th- was, this, this no, is, John was like, that this is, is the exact yeah. one. Yeah. That's, that, is this one from New Moon? No, this is no, from this Twilight. Is Twilight. That's right. Twilight. We still so, have it. <laughs> what I remember is the wigs we bought were like candy floss wigs. Oh, my gosh. They were very, very poor quality <laughs> because back then we, you know, we're still learning about wigs and how to apply them and everything. So all the that wigs. Was, that was the first wig I ever wore. And like, what happened? Period. And what happened? Drew? Share share what happened. So it was after the entire day of filming at the school. We got back to your house. Yes, yeah, so we were cleaning up all the camera gear and everything. Yeah, taking all the stuff off and putting that away. And my head hurt so bad <laughs> from this wig just digging in all day with the elastic. And I remember I asked Because they weren't lace I think it was wigs. you. I said, is this normal? And you got all upset at me like, Drew, why didn't you say anything? I'm like, say what? Oh. These are adjustable. Well, my massive head was stuck... <laughs> Into like a little children's size wig. You, okay. And my head was indented. Okay, for our cosplayers listening, you guys know what, if you own a wig uh, in the back, it has little adjustable hooks. And yours was on the tightest <laughs> hook. I didn't put it on. I know. I never saw the inside of this thing to know, hey, there's hooks and this thing adjusts. <laughs> and at the end of the day, that's when he said, oh, my head God, hurts so my bad. my head hurts. And I go, why? And he's like, oh, is, it hurts right here. And it, like right where the front of his forehead was, was this massive purple dent, like huge, like right where the wig had dug in. And I was laughing so hard at you because I was like, Drew, it's adjustable. And you're like, well, I didn't know. I'm like, you went like 16 hours Mm -hmm. with that wig on. (laughs) Okay, switching gears. Why do I look so weird in Twilight (laughs) parody? Can we talk about that? You were just a little baby back Uh then. I was fetus hilly, hilly, like fetus. And then Hannah with her camera angles is like up in my face. Oh, it's all schnoz. (laughs) It's like so close and like has nothing to, does not help my nose at all. (laughs) Thanks, Hannah. I know. I shot all of Twilight parody except for, like, some crane shots that I was in. It mm-hmm. was like our dad was shooting back then. We'd mm-hmm. get all mad. Dad, no. Dad, you cut our heads off. Dad. Like, it, there was no professionalism behind Twilight so parody. So for Twilight parody, we did not go out of town. We were shooting everything in Las Vegas. But we went to the mountains with oh my um, God. Jacob. And when we mean Jacob, we mean Jacob Jose, who played Edward. Yes. So <laughs> that's a little confusing. We, Edward and Jacob. Edward's played by Jacob. Um, we went to the mountains to shoot the shots of Bella and Edward in the trees, which lasted one second in our Twilight parody. But, you know, we had to make it screen accurate. Um, you guys are only like 10 feet off the ground. And in the movie, they're like way high. <laughs> no, but e- we shot extra stuff in there. You know, like those little things at the end where he's like in the tree and Bella's climbing up into the tree with him. Jacob got stuck in the tree. He couldn't move his hand because he had frozen. It was 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, So that's like negatives in Celsius, isn't it? 9 degrees. No, that's not. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Yeah, because it's below freezing. I don't don't know. It was 9 degrees and he was up in the tree. And I said, okay, Jacob, let's get down. I mean, I had like four pairs of sweats on like i didn't have proper it was nine proper degrees. filming like wear your ski gear when it's nine degrees <laughs> no, you didn't. i had four pairs of sweatpants on three jackets on two beanies on and i was filming the whole thing and jacob was up there in just his little skinny it was not even it was like the worst pea coat i think it was like another woman's jacket that, that it was, was it was a woman's jacket. jacket it wasn't a pea coat yeah. it was okay. like purple yeah, yeah it wasn't <laughs> even like gray it was like a windbreaker material <laughs> it wasn't even Super wool thin. <laughs> And that was supposed to be the pea coat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, oh but fans God. loved it. And he was up there. We said, okay, Jacob. And he's, he's acting and he's going, oh, and he's freezing. <laughs> and we go, okay, get down. And he, I just hear, I can't, I can't, I can't get my, my, my hands are frozen to the branch. And I was like, Jacob, come on, get off. Because I was fine because I was dressed warm. Yeah. He's like, my hands are stuck. Like, we literally had to peel his fingers off the branch. He had, like, frozen there because he was sitting up there for maybe five, eight minutes. But it was so cold. I got sick from filming uh, because we were out there for so long. I Mm -hmm. got a really bad cold. But then when we came back down from the mountains. Oh, my God. So we were up there for a couple hours, shot all that. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I wasn't there. No, no, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. 
you wouldn't want to be there. It was so no. cold. So we came back from the mountains. We popped we popped out the tape, which it was then tape. we were filming on. Oh, I know tape. when we were watching that last night, you can totally tell the quality has <laughs> changed in the past it's ten a, years. It so. was a potato <laughs> video camera. equipment. A potato camera. <laughs> well, it was. It just it wasn't digital. It looked good if you put on your TV. So we took was that it. a DVX 100B? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we took the tape out. and as We, we wanted were, to watch yeah, the footage. As we were taking it out, there was a warning that came on the camera. And it said um, uh, something like tape unplayable or something. It was like a, a warning. Cannot be played. Cannot be played. And we were scanning through the footage, looking, and every time we'd press play, it was a blue screen that said tape cannot be played. Hannah starts crying. I just plopped on the couch. Jacob was speechless. He, he just didn't, didn't say anything. Say. And I remember he kept going. He goes, I don't want to go back up there. I don't want to reshoot this. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to do it again. Like, And I was sobbing because back then it was just... I guess traumatic. I didn't handle things very well, oh. you know. Oh, you're better now? Oh, well, I mean, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is true. But I was She's overcome so, those issues in her so life. It was so bad, guys, because it was she so would cold. She's still cry now. I would still <laughs> cry now. <laughs> no, but I was oh, le- I'm better. <laughs> no, I didn't I didn't even care what Jacob thought. I was just like legit crying. Well, first of all, Jacob was a childhood friend that we had grown up with. Yeah, so there yeah. was a lot of comfort there. Like, I don't care what you think, I'm gonna cry. Long story short, the tape was uh had condensation in it, which because is, we had transferred it from so cold to like a hot car, so like condensation had never, set in. Never a good idea. I, well, we learned from that. So but luckily all I did was pray. And the next thing I did is I pressed well, play and it played. Film, and we had all the footage. Filming New Moon was insane too with the temperature because like the iPod would just shut down. Should we switch to New Moon yes. now? Let's go to New Moon. Well, I thought yeah. that was a pretty good segue. Yeah. You didn't have to pause. <laughs> I, know, I was saying, stop I was just that making... nice clean segue I just made for you. <laughs> well, should like, we just switch to that real quick? I'm, I'm just making sure you didn't have any other Twilight memories. Um, I mean, we can talk about each one <laughs> for years. all day, I, <laughs> I know. feel like. All right, right, New Moon parody. That was the first production 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 we filmed outside of Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. That was Forks, Washington. And that was also one of the first productions where we started doing screen-accurate sets yeah. with uh, Bella's set with the... The we tried. House. We tried with the Colin House, and we did. We tried with the Volturi. Yeah, but the, it, Bella's is completely screen accurate, and that was because we met John Henson. Yeah. Uh, mm. You know, John Henson unfortunately has passed away. Um, it's been a couple of years, but he met us at a Twilight convention. And in Atlanta, right? Yeah. yeah. And he was like, "Hey, I love your stuff, and I'm a costume designer, and I I know about screen accuracy." And well, the, and at the time, that was like peak Twilight, like uh, fever had yeah. just started. <laughs> and that was going to last for like another two years. But that was like the very beginning upswing of that hey, insanity. Twilight, 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 Twilight. <laughs> Do you remember the, the Bella lullaby, the ooh? I, I, oh, yeah. I told Hannah, I th- what was it, two weeks ago? What I was listening to Pandora and like all of a sudden Eyes on Fire came on. And I was like, this song rocks so hard. (laughs) This song is awesome. How about (laughs) super massive black hole? (laughs) When we watched when we watched Twilight last night. The Twilight Parody. Twilight Parody. (laughs) Not the whole movie. We just watched all the parodies. Um, the credits. Oh, he likes art. the so song. Good. The song for the credits. Yeah. I benefited so massively off of that song because I had that nice little build up and then it was. And viewer fans would And then scream. it was my, my face would pop on right there and everybody freaking loved that. It was like so manufactured <laughs> in the sound of the, the song. And we everything. made you popular, mm-hmm. Drew. Okay. <laughs> it worked. So some new moon uh, memories I had was uh, wow. It was very cold. That was one of my memories I have in my book right now. Is just cold exclamation I think exclamation exclamation. When we when she we had to shot wear that gold, the t- I don't know trash bag dress. <gasps> it was. It's not a trash I'm bag. Sorry. I don't know what it is, but it <laughs> it's was called a tube. Dress. It was about as thick as a as a trash bag. It was, and I had to run around barefoot. barefoot. Yeah, and it was twenty two degrees. Twenty two degrees in Fahrenheit. The, yeah, and the high. I re- I, what cold. I remember is that they were shooting out there, and okay, you were barefoot. 
And then there was Jacob, who was Edward. Okay, sorry about the confusion on that again. But he had on boots and, like, the full-on trench coat. And the next thing I know, I'm like, she's frozen like a popsicle. He's in the van as we're prepping the next scene. And he's taken off his boots with a sock. And he's got his foot <laughs> in the shoved vent. in the ceiling vent of the van. And he's like, my toes. My toes are cold. I can't feel my toes. I can't feel my toes. <laughs> But poor, poor Kyle. Oh, enter Kyle Dayton. Yay, Yay! Kyle! Uh, Kyle became our permanent Jacob. Jacob, because we had a Llewellyn in the Joseph first. Joseph Llewellyn. <laughs> we had Llewellyn in the first one, and uh, I don't know why he just didn't want to. No, he just wasn't was he too skinny. He was too or skinny. Too he thin. was supposed to be like the Jacob version mm-hmm. before he turns into a wolf. Yeah, and we found Kyle through MySpace. We found him in the background. Making a goofy face, and then we stalked. It was like one of our cousin's birthday parties. We stalked Kyle. We stalked him. And he had done. On MySpace. Yes. He had done Do no. Do you realize how old that sounds? Oh, we've already uh, discussed this. We, we had, already discussed we, how we've met people through the episodes, too. He MySpace. had done no previous yeah. acting. He'd done a little modeling. Mm-hmm. And we shot that New Moon teaser trailer up in Mount Charleston. <gasps> oh and my. we told Kyle, bring black tennis shoes just you have black shoes and he showed up to run around in the forest in black dress shoes <laughs> and i don't think that's a better i mean i couldn't think of another of a better introduction to, to kyle, kyle and kyle's personality <laughs> <laughs> and, and he still ran around in yeah, the forest and he jumped over with the all logs, the foliage on the ground speed. jumping in these slippery smooth <laughs> leather dress shoes and we play we used to play that at the twilight conventions that we hosted we need to talk about those conventions on another podcast yes the whole twilight tours and how we used to host those uh, for creation entertainment that is such like a yellow blur in my eyes <laughs> from those oh contacts being on all the time <laughs> the twilight cons and for were like yellow. the first half of it the contacts were not prescription mm mm and I need contacts. And to see. blind as so, a bat. <laughs> I got that yellow gold glow over my eyes, tinting so when, the world, and it's all just a when blur. When people come up to you and like, don't you remember me? I met you at the Twilight Convention. And you're like, no. Only, only if we talk to each other like this close, <laughs> which I did for a lot of people, biting their arms <laughs> and, and necks. So, it w- which they don't do, but that was such a genius, fun thing to do with everybody. Yeah, let's take a photo with me biting you. <laughs> oh, and they loved it, too. I think that was my idea. The sketches were my idea when we would introduce... Do- yes. All the good ideas are your ideas, Hillary. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, okay, switching back to parodies, because the tours is a whole other chapter we really need to dig out, because there are some funny stories in there. So, yeah, New Moon was, again, peak season. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll get back to that, mm-hmm. where... We had so much help from everybody. Yeah. Uh-huh. We had to the, the make truck. it all happen. Yeah. Someone <laughs> drove Bella's truck all the from way Texas? from Texas to Washington. How many hours is that? I think it took them like two days. What was yeah. her name? Sterling. 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 Shout out to Sterling. Woo! Hey, girl. That truck looks so good. And people just take it for granted in the video. Like nobody's like, oh, that's the truck. It's literally the truck. Mm-hmm. One of the trucks, yeah. And... Doesn't People really just get accept noticed. it as like, yeah. yeah, Hollywood has to do that. But they have to get there the truck. is such a <laughs> there is such a jump even from Twilight parody to New Moon parody. Yes, you can see the mm-hmm. quality definitely the quality. We were in a location for heaven's sakes. And do you want to talk about how you and Drew were the ones who had to set up the Volturi set? <gasps> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I do now because I, I had forgotten. I, I was teaching dance classes that day, and I couldn't get off to help you guys. I had to go teach, and I said, "Okay, you two are there, and you two are the only ones left to set up the entire set." And we went back to Home Depot. We made like how many seven times? trips to Home Depot because <laughs> we, kept... we kept buying this paint <laughs> one can at a time. I have a, no idea why. <laughs> it was the textured paint, and we thought that oh, this is enough coverage. We only have to do a couple steps because it was leading up to the thrones. Yep. And we would get we'd get one can of texturized paint, and we're like, "That's plenty. That's plenty." I mean, there's only three steps. We don't even have to do a lot. It's just getting a yeah. little bit of texture. Yeah, and so we it. did it, and it only covered like not even a quarter of the steps. And we go, "Ah, we should go back and get another two well, cans." Yeah, now it looks splotchy and uneven. Then we got like two more, <laughs> and then we went back again and got two more, and I think we went back a f- third or fourth time, and we were just laughing at it at that point. Those people thought we were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Because they start to recognize you when you're in there four times in two hours. We all, me and Drew, also put together the Dark Knight uh, set. 
which was in the same location. It we was shot in an RV family. garage. It was in an RV garage. <laughs> Someone's massive RV garage that they allowed us to use. Set so up that crazy circus tent and set up the Volturi setup, the which Volturi the setup. whole background was a painted yes, backdrop. Yes, backdrop, painted and backdrop. And it looked awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, that's because we were shooting on tape. The you, moment you shoot on HD, you're going to notice those things. Do you remember for New Moon, which sucks, and I don't know why we put it in the script, and it's not even in, like barely in the parody, like two scenes. Last night I remembered. What? We actually had wolves. We oh, shot yeah. with wolves yeah. for a full day um, for footage for New Moon parody, and they are only in two shots. And these were from a wolf um, sanctuary mm-hmm. Out in Nevada, and they were to- completely wild. They gave me red meat, and they're like, okay, go run. And once they come close, let it go because they'll, like, <laughs> attack you. Um, you know, because they're wild. You're, they're not going to be yeah. docile. Like, these are wild wolves. Um, and I, I remember when I was watching it last night, I went, wait, that was, like, such a missed opportunity. <laughs> like, we only have two shots? I, I don't know why. But there's so much crammed into mm-hmm. New Moon. Oh, my gosh, we filmed, so much. We filmed Wiki Watchy. The underwater stuff. <gasps> we filmed in watching? Forks. We filmed in, was, Florida. It, was it Tampa? Florida, yeah. Yeah. I think it was Tampa where For that, the, in the, a cemetery. I had to run out. And in California. In a fountain in a cemetery. <laughs> yeah. They put boards for me to run on. In the water oh, in the yeah, cemetery. Yeah. yeah. Lord yeah. help me. Uh, watching that scene last night, it's okay. Florida, California. Florida, California. <laughs> the cuts. And you can't tell. No. No. That no. looks so good for being filmed. Months apart. In two Should we talk locations? about the birthday scene? And yes, the stunt. Yes, yes. Your stunt. Okay, that so looked, explain the stunt. Good. You know, Jasper has to get thrown onto the piano mm-hmm. because of Edward's super strength. So Greg had made the stunt piano. Who's Greg? Uh, well, Greg, <laughs> Greg, need to know. <laughs> Greg makes all the props. There you go. Greg makes everything. He yeah. made the bat signal. He made. <clears throat> Hunger the, Games The Sweeney sets. Todd oven. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's been around a long time. Hobbit parody stuff, Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. Like, he's done everything, basically. So anyway, Greg. He made the bed, and it, was it Eclipse or Breaking yeah, Dawn? Yeah, Breaking Dawn. Eclipse, too. It was Ooh. Edward's bed with oh, all the flowers. Yeah. He made that. So tell him about your stunt. So he made the, the piano, and Greg likes to make things solid. So it was supposed to break, and I was too puny to actually break it. <laughs> because Drew was supposed to be catapulted onto, you know, as Jasper goes flying and crashes into the piano. What, what did we use as a crash pad? We had um, gym, just gym, like... gym mats. I, yeah, we did. We had, we like had, sofa cushions. but for it whatever so reason, <laughs> <laughs> no, we, I remember I was underneath the, the, the piano on the opposite side watching you. I don't know why I was there. When you went flying back, Hannah was filming on the opposite. I was like near the piano and you, Drew, knew he had a one-take wonder here because this piano is, we only had one piano and it only breaks once. Yep. So Drew like flings himself super duper hard and like landed slightly off of where I think the weakest point of it was. Yeah, I was supposed to try and oh line my, my butt God. up with the seam that he had made yeah. so it would crack. <clears throat> And it's not like you had time to practice. I mean, come on, you have one No, it's just like spur of the moment. <laughs> yeah. like, okay, go for it. <laughs> Backwards. And, yeah, I had to. Backwards. What did I jump off of? Nothing. You, you just did. used your legs. No, he jumped no, we off were, of something. I can't jump. Was it back like an apple box? <laughs> was it like an apple Thank box? Thank you for thinking I'm that awesome. <laughs> <laughs> was it like an apple box? We didn't have op- no, apple there boxes. There were no apple boxes back then. <laughs> it might have so been something crazy a, like a suitcase. No, I think it was probably like, like a, a pelican bench case or it might have been another gym gym mat if I'm remembering. Yeah, maybe, but. I had to jump backwards and try and land on it and, and act in the air like I just got hit. It came out pretty good. Yeah, it did. But you also had like a concussion and you landed on your <laughs> tailbone and you fell into this pile of whatever. And I immediately ran up to you and I was like, Drew, are you OK? And you and Hannah got in a fight <laughs> because you're like you texted her like that. And you're like, how come you didn't come and see if I was OK? Well, because it's actually <laughs> like, you <laughs> obviously don't care. That did hurt. But what? Hannah it, was just like, oh, no, the shot wasn't good enough. Let's try no, it again. I, no, oh, my god! always about the shot. N- no, no. By the way, that is no. my married wife voice <laughs> right there. Yeah. Oh, the shot doesn't look very good. Well, we had, okay, so we had started dating. Yeah, pretty good. We had started dating before Twilight, so we were already dating for, like, what, like two years now or something? Yeah, going to see Twilight it, was like I, a it date. Is, it is, it is, it, there is actual footage. When he landed, I was not filming. 
the camera was filming from someone else or it was set up. I was Alice on the opposite side of the room and you crashed and the sound it made and Hillary going, <gasps> like, I mean, I just knew something had happened and I just turned and I went, ah, and I just screamed and I covered my mouth and I looked over and I just like froze, which we know that's what I do sometimes. And I just froze up because I didn't know what, I, it scares me so much. And then I go, are you okay? And I'm way over there, but I was like, are you okay? And Hilly was there right next to him. And yeah. yes, you she, text okay. she actually cared. Yeah, yeah. you don't okay. care about me. Okay. I was like, I, I got do you. care. I got you. I do care. I just got scared. Like, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, wow. <laughs> Let's settle. Let's settle. Let the dust. The dust is gone. We've... That birthday scene looked amazing. Yes, it, it did. did. And Justin looked so good. Yes. Mm. Oh, so now we are. Here's our Carlisle. Now yes. I would Shout like out to, to Justin Bechtold. Hey, Justin. <laughs> I would also like to say that we have a tale of many Emmets. Oh. oh my gosh! I think each parody has a, a new Emmett. Emmet. <laughs> I think the only one that was consistent was Andre. <laughs> Andre did circle back, but For he breaking got split down part up. two. Yeah. yeah, we had Sean. But Andre Flynn. was in Twilight parody. Yeah, he was in the baseball scene where we're circling you and Edward because Sean couldn't make it back for that yes, second shoot. Yes. So, so we had Sean Flynn, Emmett. We had Andre, and then for the third one we had Travis. I think no Brandon. No, Brandon. Oh my Who's god. Travis? Oh my God! Am I oh my God! Travis Cody again? No, no, no. We had Brandon Carell for Eclipse, mm-hmm. and then for Breaking Dawn Part One, mm-hmm. we had Travis, and then Breaking Dawn Part. No, no, no yeah, shoot! It's okay. I got this, girl. Breaking Dawn, we had Andre because he messed up singing, and Breaking Dawn Part Two, we had Travis because he was in the snow. That's right. Uh-huh. All right. Eclipse parody, opening right. up that chapter. Eclipse parody was a little, I think it was my worst experience, <laughs> even though it's one of my favorites out of every every Twilight yes. parody that we've done. It's when we introduced Lady Gaga, and I love Lady Gaga. So and it's so the first time it. that we had shot a, a parody in a, like more high quality on a DSLR. Yes. We had graduated from the film. Because Twilight yeah. Lexicon pitched in, and so did Creation Entertainment, to get us a camera. Yeah. Yep. That was so sweet of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. So, uh, anyway, back to why Eclipse Parody was tough for me. Um, number one, I twisted my ankle. We'll get into that. Um, number <laughs> number two <clears throat> was that as they were they were dating, they were a couple as Alice and Jasper, my date, <laughs> uh, Jacob, we were dating for a while. And during Eclipse. Yeah, the Edward. Yes. There's two Jacobs. Yes. She's dating that, Jacob Jost. Oh, my God. This is so confusing. Um, and we had he had broken up with me before Eclipse started filming. <laughs> so it was so frustrating and heartbreaking because, you know, being the breaker uppy on the other side, like I wasn't the breaker upper, I was the breaker uppy. I don't know how to <laughs> And it was really hard for me. I remember I was really emotional. Like every night I'd come home crying because it was so hard for me. So I mean, all those scenes you see, that's Really good acting because both of us were like <laughs> on the rocks. <laughs> uh, but we, we can talk about how we went back to Forks. And Drew, tell us how you put, how you basically made the meadow scene. Yeah, we planted all the <laughs> fake flowers. It looked great too. Watching I mean, that again, that meadow looked so good. <laughs> It and does. We packed what? There was spider meadow. <laughs> Wait, what did we have to do? We had to use like a spike and a hammer and like make holes in yeah, the ground. Yeah, I think we used like a tent stake, <laughs> pound, a, pound a hole in the ground, and, and then just stick it in. Like a little vase in the ground, just drop the <laughs> little flower in. It was a spider meadow, though. It was. Yes. So many spiders. That was Lord of the Spiders <laughs> territory yes, there. Yes. Uh, and then uh, we, where did Hannah talk? And poor Jacob hated spiders. I oh. hated spiders. Well, you, yeah. No, he was pretty he bad, was though. All- like oh. he would like be like, I ain't <laughs> freaking out. Um, Hannah, tell our listeners and our viewers where mm. we had to go to shoot with the Volturi and all the extras for the dance oh. scene in the forest. That epic dance scene in the forest. At the we end. went to Red. Sequoia. Was it? Sequoia? No, Sequoia. Yeah, I was like yeah. Redwood, but it's not Redwood. We went to Sequoia National Park. Yes, and had to get permits. But it's just insanity to me that everybody came. Yeah, but we had did, like 25 people. Where did we stay? How did we oh, keep the budget low? Geez. Where, where, <laughs> that's what I meant. What was the family that was staying there? The Sloan. The Sloan, the Sloan family. 
Shout out to the Sloan family. You ate all of our food. <laughs> they shared like the same youth hostel or whatever and it was. And they ate food from the fridge. Yeah. That was ours. Sloan family reunion. Yeah, it was of, a Sloan what was it, family while we were whatever, there. We stayed in, what was it, Drew, a monastery? It was a monk monastery, wasn't it? Was it was like a monastery, yeah. yeah. Because that was the cheapest that we could find for everybody. And it would only house that amount of people mm-hmm. that we needed. Like, we could have gotten a motel, but it was maybe, I think, an hour away from the location. And, and this was 20 this was minutes. Like, yeah, right everybody, in the park. Everybody roomed together. There was, I think, three people to one room. So we had maybe, like, eight rooms, I'm going to guess. Yeah, we did. We had everyone roomed together. And we just said, this is the way it's got to be. And everyone was cool with it, though, because it was the hype of Twilight. And I'm in the, the production. I get to be Jane or I get to yeah. be and I, whoever. The who, first, was, who was the Volturi guy that was, like, super tall? <laughs> who said his room was haunted? And he woke up at 3 a.m. Well, no, every day. 2 a.m. The beds were so small and he was so big. He's like, I'm laying, <laughs> on the, I'm laying on the bed with my feet flat on the ground and my arms <laughs> can touch the ground. He was like probably six foot four, I think. Yeah. He was huge. Mm-hmm. He was super tall. And then I felt sorry for him because the beds were like twins. But it was like maybe only were, six feet long. I think the it was beds like were a twin even from like the 1920s. Yeah, the like. twins were like super small. Even for me, I was like, this is a small bed. <laughs> like you could not roll over. You had to like up and scooch yourself to lay sideways because you'd roll off the bed. Yeah. I went the first night we were there. <clears throat> I decided to check our beds because, you know, I'm I'm not high maintenance. Like I will do... Fun. Hilly's not high maintenance. I will do fun outings. Make a note of that, everyone. Yes. I will do fun outings. I will, like, stay in, like, a cabin. But when when you walked in, it was that feeling of, <laughs> I am not alone. There are creepy crawlies in here. <laughs> so I, I was like, chill out. You'll be fine. Because you can already tell in the corners of the, the, the ceiling. little short ceiling you could already see the clusters of like spider webs and things like that so I go I should check my bed I'm not going to complain it was cheap to stay in we're we're okay check my bed make sure nothing's there I'll sleep okay pull back the blanket what's the first thing I see (laughs) super tiny but if you zoom in real close (laughs) it was a tick (laughs) a tick was in my bed saying greeting me for my first night's sleep. <laughs> Just keeping it warm for you. Yeah, Eclipse, that's what I mean. Eclipse was fun. And then that night we said, let's gonna we're going to do a dance rehearsal and we're going to rehearse the Eclipse parody dance uh, to Bad Romance. Super mm-hmm. excited. Um, and yeah, We had all the dancers there. Yes. We had the entire Cullen Monastery family there. <laughs> Everybody the and their mother was and there. And all the Volturi there. And oh their moms gosh. and their parents. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because Koi was underage, so the yeah. mom had to come. Did Taylor's mom come? No, because Taylor's mom was a dance competition mom. And she's oh. like, is another parent there? We're like, yeah. She's like, she's fine. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we were doing the choreography. We we did it great. Hannah said we had it down. It was perfect. And we just started improvising, having fun. The music was on the chimes of Bad Romance. The dun, 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 And I still get a stomachache when I hear those chimes. <laughs> I love Lady Gaga, but this has this has d- ruined it for me. We started running on our tippy toes, like, I want to call it, like, little cockroaches. Like, you know, dancers, like, picking up our knees real high and, like, They just were around, goofing just off. Just having fun because dancers do that. Oh, my God. We got to hurry. <laughs> I just looked at the time. <laughs> wow. Okay, anyway. So I was running around, and I just remember hearing a, a snap. And I felt my ankle roll out, and I was on the floor. <laughs> and my leg went completely numb. I was laughing, though, because I thought it was funny. I fell. But then I realized, oh, my God, I can't feel my foot. That I felt pins and needles. And that is a sign that something has snapped. And come to find out that I woke up the next morning, <laughs> got really sick, went to Hannah, was about to pass, uh, out. pass out. And I said, I did something to my ankle. And what did you say, my loving sister? What do you mean you did something to your ankle? That's what I <laughs> Because, you know, I'm like, you know, I, I know Hilly doesn't complain, but I already knew something was probably wrong, so it pissed me off. Because I'm like, okay, what, Hilly? Like, what now? And she's like, I just stood on my ankle. I'm going to throw up. Like, she was, like, ready to dry heave because the pain was so bad that she, yeah. like, felt like she was going to throw up. I was seeing up. stars And she's like, sure. my, my ankle, my ankle. And I go, you're fine. Just don't stand on it. Like, and she's like, I can't film. I can't dance. Like, Hannah, I can't stand on my foot. Like, she literally could not stand. And I just looked at her. I go, we are not turning back. 
There are too many people here. We are all the way up in Sequoia. You have 25 people that you would have to reschedule. Like, my brain goes into psycho organization mode, like how hard it was to do this. And she's telling me all this with a wig cap on. Yes, with my wig cap, (laughs) my my white face and my makeup. And I was like, we are not— we are not rescheduling. You have to and make she, it happen. No, she looked at me, the, and I will never forget. She goes, "Suck it up." <laughs> so there I was in heels in Sequoia well, National the thing. Park. I thought she... dancing in dirt with a swollen grapefruit ankle, and I had to be carried everywhere I went, and everybody forgot about me, and I didn't have a boyfriend to help me. <laughs> so I was just standing there by myself, waiting to be hitched by my dad or my uncle. <laughs> Or me, I had to piggyback oh, did you, you through yeah. the woods. And then Brandon, and so did Brandon, Brandon, yeah. Brandon helped mm-hmm. too. Oh my god, we have to, we have to move Wait, fast. Okay. Guys. Hillary's just going to piggyback everywhere she goes. From now on. <laughs> oh my god, and I don't even think your foot. Fit oh, in but that but long story short, well. we thought you had twisted your ankle, and she later on had learned she had actually snapped both tendons on both sides of her ankle. So it was serious, and I felt really bad after that. No and one I said believed I was sorry. me. No, no one, believed one believed her. They thought she was being and drama. Then little just touching things that we're going to not be able to get into. But when we had the snow machine, the guy who fell down the mountain bringing <laughs> it up. Uh, when John fell into a pile of poop. Oh, it, when we and were, it's in the credits. Yeah, John where he was an slips extra. and falls and he went right into a cow pie. And then because the, we filmed the whole <laughs> fight scene in a cow field. Yep. In with a, holes and divots and and he, he came back up and he had poop and he's like, Is my makeup okay? And there was just poop smeared all over his forehead. He didn't and he, care about the poop, like, but he, was he, his makeup all right? He's like, my makeup okay? Do I have a shit on my face? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when we rented a black Volvo in Ford, yes, and then they called and they're like, "Oh, it's no longer available." Oops! And oh so you, Jacob, and I think yeah. Kyle went around Forks looking for a black yeah, the, SUV. So it was the night before we're supposed to film the scene with the two the two cars, mm-hmm. and Volvo backs out. Okay, we got to go find somebody with a car that looks something like a black Volvo. So we ended up. Driving around Forks, <laughs> and Jacob and I are leaving notes on people's car. We went to the bar. There's only one in Forks. <laughs> went to the bar. We're talking to everybody there. They're really weirded out because it's like a local's bar. And yeah. we're just some weirdos. Leaving ta- like notes on people's windshields. Yeah, you know, that, like they were like still like kind of making fun of the Twilight stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The late night bar logging people. Didn't really care much for Twilight, but we had to go through and we left this note that said, like, hey, if you're around tomorrow (laughs) and want to use your car in a Twilight-themed production, call this number. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it was something super weird like that. And we got a call. Mm-hmm. Didn't we, Drew? Yeah. Someone yeah. said yes. Well, obviously. We well, have yeah, a black we, SUV. We have a black car in there. <laughs> no, but it was it's just, a black it's like Nissan bu- Murano. <laughs> but it's like yeah. bizarre. Like, I would never call anybody back if okay. they left a note on And you were freaking out because you're like, I don't know what looks like a Volvo. I don't know. And I'm like, it's just, it's a black SUV. I'm going to find something. Real somewhere. quick, again, Eclipse Perry. There was a lot of Eclipse. Koi's hood because his Volturi outfit did not come with a hood. And we said, bring like a big hoodie. And he brought like a child size hoodie. So he had this beautiful Volturi coat and this tiny skin tight hood, and it was the and funniest looking thing. And I said, "Oh, and thing. it was so funny because everyone had the big hoods, and then there's like this little tiny Volturi." And so I go, "Oh, Koi, I go, oh, let me fix that." Okay, and I was like, <laughs> "Stretch the hell out of that thing." And I was like, "Oh, that lady." I remember he was like, "Are you stretching?" I was like, "No, no, it's just not laying right." And I was like, "I could hear it going." <laughs> like I was pulling because I was like, and "We pulled it up so high to where, like, you know the." <laughs> the back of your the hoodie it was just is like, like a- up here. <laughs> <laughs> the seam was like on the back of his head. And then, okay, again, I, uh, we're going to talk about the glow up a little bit. There was such a glow up between Twilight Parody transitioning into Eclipse and Breaking Dawn. All of our makeup and our looks improved tenfold. The yes. glow up game was strong. So that brings us to Breaking Dawn Part 1, which is our most viewed Twilight production sitting wow. nearly at 40 million views can you guys believe what that? it's 38 million views wow wow i had no idea <laughs> well, i've been oh watching it every day since it came out so. okay we we got to talk about the ocean nightmare oh my god 
Were you so, there? No, nope. Drew was not there. It was Brittany, me, you, Austin. Enter the new Edward because my pa- ex-boyfriend didn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> so <laughs> enter the new Edward, Austin, Austin Clay. Clay. <laughs> we were in Forks, Washington, and we decided to do the honeymoon scene where Edward goes into the ocean and beckons Bella in. Come on, my naked princess. Come join me. <laughs> um, and we're like, we'll shoot it in an actual ocean because Hillywood was stupid back then. And we thought that was a good idea. <laughs> so we contacted a local in Forks who was like, yeah, my dad has a private cabin near an ocean. And I think she could h- help us get lights or something We needed like that. lights. I'm like, what were we thinking? Like, it's a massive ocean. How are you supposed to <laughs> you light, light the someone <laughs> in the ocean? <laughs> so they brought out construction lights. <laughs> And they hooked it up, Uh, and it was working. And we said, okay, Austin, go out there. But, like, we were so stupid because they had extension cords plugged into a generator, (laughs) and the waves are coming towards the (laughs) extension cords. And, like, I just remember saying, go go out there. And, like, it was a nightmare, and he's, like, freezing. Like, he was, like... (laughs) Shaking. (laughs) I'm like, okay, and he's supposed to be, like, grab some body sex. And he's, like... Like, he can't even act. We kept telling him, go deeper. Go deeper, go Austin. Deeper. Go deeper. And the after a while, he couldn't go deep enough because if he went too deep, we couldn't see him. So then we said, okay, go on your knees. And that was a mistake because when the <laughs> waves would come, it would knock him forward. And it, it turned out to be the worst footage. And then after a while, the <laughs> wind came in and then the lights fell into the water. And I had to drop my towel and I told all of the fishermen, please turn around, don't look. I mean, I wasn't naked. I had on a nude thong and a nude little <laughs> bra, but I I was just exposed to the world. And I remember when I dropped my towel and Hannah was the only one seeing me, like, basically naked, I thought, is this how Eve felt? <laughs> like, I felt so, like, at one with nature. I was like, it's just me, naked on a beach. And I was like, what are we doing? Like, it was too— And then we had to rush Austin into some stranger's cabin who gave him fresh socks. <laughs> And my parents had to rub his legs because he was sitting there going, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> it was the worst decision ever. That was, like, so stupid. And I, remember, I don't know why we did that, but we I, thought it would look good. I remember um, <laughs> uh, not. I, I remember that Breaking Dawn wasn't, like, with the whole family. You were barely a part of it just for the pregnancy scene. Mm-hmm. Um, but Breaking Dawn Part 2 really involved everybody again and I was busting up when I was watching Breaking Dawn part two that one to me is I think the funniest but I mean our, I'm sure our viewers will say Breaking Dawn was more funny but do you I, have memories from from like because we can combine we can go a little over time yeah, right now we'll yeah. keep it we'll keep it short we'll go a little over time but I remember for Breaking Dawn part two it didn't stop raining Oh no! Yeah, yeah. And we, and we, we sat for about three hours. Stop raining. We had sat for about three hours, and me and Nikki had to look at you and say, "We need to shoot, or you're not going to have anything." We came all the way out here. We have to get out there, but we were nervous because when the wigs get wet, if they have curls oh, to them, they start gosh. getting destroyed and they start curling in the scene and getting frizzy and like mm-hmm. looking really, really bad. Mm-hmm. Um, so I remember that specifically, and it was cold again. Cold, cold, and cold. I know that there was a lot of viewers who were shocked uh, with Breaking Dawn Part 2. And even I think Breaking Dawn had some uh, moments. Uh, they were like, oh, my gosh, Hilly went topless. Hilly went topless. Like, you know, <laughs> oh. you, 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 you know. Really committed Don't there. call me a you, you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you. <laughs> uh, it was, I, guys, I wasn't topless. I had on a sticky, you know, those, those chicken, sticky, those chicken cutlets. So. She calls them the chicken breasts. <laughs> they look like, they look like chicken breasts. <laughs> they're, they're stick and on they gels. stick on bras. And it was just clear. And you just, cl- yeah. You and covered. everyone's like, I saw her boob. I'm like, that's not not my boob like <laughs> calm down so i just needed to put a disclaimer that i was not actually topless with a stranger like i didn't even Do know you, okay Austin. i i remember something that we all can laugh at with breaking down part two we had to dance in the snow and we all oh, were rehearsing but everyone kind of dug a little hole from themselves so we wouldn't slip and there's carissa bless her heart still a good friend who was playing one of the amazons and she's only in fur like, her boobs are barely covered, and so is the bottom half. She had, like, kind of, like, boots on, like, snow boots or something. She's, like, naked. She has nothing on. It was cold. It was probably 33 Fahrenheit. And it might have been colder because there was actually snow. There was the little, you know, um, God, what was her name? Jordan, who played Renesme, was nine years old, and she started getting really cold. And she was shaking, and her mom goes, you can do it. 
you're fine. And she's like, <laughs> like her feet were cold. And she goes, here, step out for a little bit. And she goes, stomp your feet around. Like the mom's a good mom. And she's like, she felt to be shows, you're fine. You know, but for her, keep going, Jordan, you're fine. Smile. Come on, you're on camera. Like, and Jordan was like, okay. And Jordan kept going. And then there's Koi. <laughs> Unfortunately, I said, bring a warm pair of socks. Well, his socks got yeah. wet. Lower your voice just a little bit, only because I know I'm going to have peaking issues. I'm sorry, everyone. Well, I have to do all the editing. Sorry, editing. here's the editor talking to me. Hannah just getting his hyped socks and her got wet. going up. His socks got wet, and Koi totally ditched, and we are missing a Volturi in the entire dance scene. Oh, but he, he poor because his Koi, little... you guys. Koi was crying. He actually his physically started crying. Just in so much pain. And his <laughs> feet were hurting so bad, and he cried down the mountain. Yeah. And, and we lost was like, our, one of our Volturi members. And I kept trying to say, I go, Koi, take off your socks and just walk in your shoes because yeah. that's better to get the well, cold out. Well, we told everybody bring snow boots so when we rehearsed that you wouldn't be in mm-hmm. your acting shoes until the camera was on. And I don't think half of them listened. They, I mean, that one girl was in ballet slippers the whole time. I do not know how she did. <laughs> I would. It's like you know, have, she, have your feet ever gone numb? Yes, it you hurts. literally feel like you're walking on like nothing, and then you can like roll your ankle. You can like do it, <laughs> break something. Um, Drew, do you remember anything from your memories? Were you, did you still have your long hair? Was that always your hair as Jasper? Once we switched over to New Moon, it was my hair. <laughs> Everything yeah. was Jasper's your hair. Jasper's hair was a crazy <gasps> story the entire time. I just remember Every their memory. Every movie was different. I peaked, I think, in Eclipse. That's where it looked great. And then they just changed the style for Breaking Dawn, and I look like this weirdo. Okay, okay. <laughs> Throwing no, back don't. real quick, real quick to Eclipse. You had to do a scene for the credits where you take off running in slow motion <laughs> Oh, Do you remember so you, you wiped out and he was like mad was at so us? I so embarrassed that I had wiped out. And you were like and mad at us. I couldn't handle it. So I'm like, I'm bleeding and <laughs> somebody, I didn't slip. <laughs> uh, I'm injured. You just somebody don't know. care. You like I, wiped out and we were like, and we go, <gasps> and we kind of go like, <laughs> like we yeah. couldn't help but like laugh. That's Hilly and me. And Hilly goes, are you okay? And he's like. Yeah, and like throws <laughs> yeah. this massive log. He's like, I'm bleeding. And I was like, and I just I like looked at Hilly and I had, I had already dated him. This is like the third year. Like and I just looked at him and shook my head. I'm like, he's fine. Him. I'm like, he wouldn't be grabbing a log and throwing it if he was bleeding. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. And then drama. For, in that same area, there was so many bugs and mosquitoes. Everyone had bug spray on. And it, it was almost like if you had bug spray, it was worse. Yes, and so I remember we were watching the footage, and we thought the Destiny who played, um, oh my God, Esme. 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 Thank you. I always <laughs> look at that every time in the credits. She, we think she has a beauty mark on her head, and it's actually a mosquito Huge sucking her black her, mosquito, her brain out. Right there, in the, right there in the credits, it looks like a little beauty mark. Nope, nope, mosquito. And mosquito. it's a wide shot. That thing's pretty big. Well, we're going to have to do um, another episode of us talking about the Twilight <laughs> phenomenon and the conventions. Um, because yeah. Twilight Parody was so successful, Adam Mallon and Gary had us out to host the first yeah. Twilight convention. We didn't know what we were doing. We were fish out of the water. And Adam, he trusted us and thought we were the next Best, best thing. thing. <laughs> uh, and we were called like the hilly players or something. He, he gave us so much leeway <laughs> yeah. to just kind of take it and run with it. And we just kind of came up with all these weird sketches and skits. And But I'm Alice. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. A whole um, other story so for we'll a have, whole other time. We'll have to talk about, you know, we even met <laughs> Stephanie Meyer. Like the Twilight phenomenon really helped Hollywood grow. And mm-hmm. thanks to our fans. And I know some of you are super shy to be like, oh, yeah, I was into the Twilight. And you shouldn't be shy about it. Everybody. Everybody and their mother. Everybody. And their grandmother. Loves was into Twilight. It. You should never be ashamed of something that you love. And thanks to Stephanie Meyer for making such a fun universe for us to play in for so many years. Oh, so many years. What was uh, it? Five years almost. I five think. years. And Even though we do look back at it and. Cringe, just yeah, a little. Just a little. Oh. <laughs> and thanks to everyone that we had worked with from uh, Jacob Joes to Kyle to Austin to Brittany to all of our friends that had been there for us, even when it was not professional and we were eating, there was no catering on No, set. everyone like, had to bring their own lunch every yeah, day. Yeah, it, it was pretty yep. insane. But, I mean, again, a thank you to everyone who helped make that happen. There was donations coming in at that time as well. Um, and we could never do this without you. And Drew, yeah. 
Thank you for joining us, our Jasper. Thank you for having yeah. me. <laughs> you got to. You have to. We you got to do have... the wait. You got to do the look. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! I don't know, I don't know god. how good that was. Oh my god, Hannah, do do your uh, Alice look. Uh. Is that, <laughs> that was it. That that was, that it. was it. It was just a simple little look. Uh, there wasn't much to then, it. Um, let me see if I can do Bella's voice. Oh my Should gosh! Not so much. Oh. <laughs> Great. We need to have Drew back again. I know, I know we're we over time, but we have to have you back, and we have to talk about uh, the con experiences with Twilight. We have that? to. I don't even remember the line. It was like I never thought about like how I would die, but like so what, what is but that? Dying dramatic. in the place of someone oh, yeah. I love or something. Yeah, but dying in the place of someone I love seems like a good way to go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, good work. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's time. It's time. It's time. <laughs> okay, we're done. We're done. Oh, we're done. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you for having me on. You're welcome. Yay. You guys, don't forget to, uh, if you're listening to this, again, watch us on YouTube. If you're watching this, you can also stream this. And keep listening to Beyond Hollywood. Bye. 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 Is this the end of Hillywood? Will Hilly and Hannah survive? Tune in next time to hear another episode of... Um, you're doing it again. Oh, sorry. Beyond Hillywood is listener supported. Join patreon.com slash Hillywood to contribute to help Hillywood live on.